Okay, we've got our two models here. We've got customer and we've got invoice and they are related here. We get this yellow squiggly that tells us that when we use relation mode equals prisma, and again, that is to allow us to use planet scale. Planet scale doesn't allow for foreign key constraints. Setting relation mode equal to prisma allows prisma to handle that for us. But when we use this mode, we don't get any kind of indexing that helps us out. And that's illustrated in the note here. It says this can lead to poor performance when querying these fields. So we can put in a fix for this by indexing manually. We can add an index with at at index. And then the index we want to add is customer ID. And now with this in place, we get the same kind of indexing benefits we'd expect when we have foreign key constraints in place. The next thing we're going to want to do here is get ourselves some data in these tables so that we can start to pull out some of that data and so we can see how things are going to work on planet scale here. When I'm working on demo applications or just generally doing some proof of concept stuff, I like to use Faker.js. We can install Faker. It's at faker-js slash faker. And this is a library that allows us to generate some fake data. Then what we might do is we might go over to server and let's pull in faker. So we'll import faker from at faker.js slash faker. And now what we can do is we can create an array for ourselves so that we have something to loop over and then we can insert some data. One way to do this is we can get an array. We can do array from and then say we want a length of something like 10. That should be good for now. We can immediately call map on that. And when we map over that, we can get an index just to give ourselves a spot that we're at. And it's inside here, we'll want to insert our data. First, we'll need to bring in Prisma client though, so we can get a new Prisma instance. To do that, let's actually just new up our Prisma instance and that will pull it in as an import. Const Prisma equals a new Prisma client. There it is up top, we get Prisma client brought in for us. And so now in each pass of our array dot from here, let's insert some data. We'll make this callback async so that we can use await. So async is there and we can await Prisma and let's go for customer. In this case, we'll create customers first. Create, let's give it some data. And what do we need? If I do control spacebar on the Mac, I can see what I need. I need email name and that's it in this case. So name, let's do this faker dot company and then i think there's dot name yep dot name is there and email can come from figure dot i think it's internet's email there we go so let's save this and we should once we run this get those records created we can do npm run dev to get that main function to run looks like it's done let's check it out and see if we get that data we can do npx prisma studio. Okay, there we go. Customers, we have 10 of them. You'll notice that the loading time takes a little bit and that's because we're going to planet scale as our remote database. We're not working locally here and that's to be expected. We've got some fake data in there. That was a very easy way to get some fake data. No need to try to put something in by hand. Faker is a great option to get ourselves some data to work with. Let's just make sure we can query for that data now. So in our main function, let's comment this out and we'll do a query here for customers. Const customers equals await Prisma customer. We'll do a find many. We need to make this main function async. So async there. Rather async goes up top here, async function. Now we can await it and we can just console.log customers. All right, let's try this now. We'll run it in a new terminal, npm run dev. And there we go, there's our customer data.